Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Springroll project. Springroll is building something like a decentralized LinkedIn on top of Ethereum and in this video we'll try to understand how the project works and we'll try to understand the role of various players in the ecosystem. So we'll understand the project by going through these 5-6 points that I've prepared. First we'll talk about their background and where is the DAP listed. Then we'll talk about their signing up workflow um, on the beta which is live on the mainnet. Then we'll talk about the platform in general, why they're using blockchain, what are their tokenomics, what is their unique selling point and value proposition. Then we'll talk about their white paper and some key aspects of the white paper. And finally, we'll talk about some challenges that they face and the challenges that they need to overcome in order to succeed. So talking about the first point, that is the background. The team itself has been in the recruitment space for around 2-3 years now and they understand the space very well. And the DAP itself has been listed on various DAP listing websites like app.co which is run by Blockstack I guess and on Toshi which is a browser for Ethereum network and it, it the Toshi is run by Coinbase and Springroll is listed on the social networking category there and you can sp find spring roll on state of the dapps as well okay so now let's talk about the second point that is signing up on the beta to use the spring roll platform you need to go to beta.springroll.com and then you need to get click on get started you'll be redirected to a page in which you have to choose your username and you will get a unique URL according to your username. So I have chosen Arnav. So this will this username is not available. But say I choose Arnav123 and this is available. I click on reserve my URL. And I have an option to sign up with four things. I can sign up with Facebook, Civic, Google or email. And that completes my process. And I think after signing up you have to mention, you can mention your skill sets like which uh, like say you are skilled in java or solidity or you are skilled in say music or something like that okay so now let's talk about the platform in general so this is the spring roll beta platform and uh, you'll find details about your name your position your location your skill set on the beta platform for me my web page is beta.springroll.com slash earnerf and this web page was, will depend on your username and then you need to you can also find details about your endorsements your bio your work experience the crypto that you hold and so on and so forth and this would look very much similar to the linkedin platform as and when this uh, gets completed and uh, you'll notice something here which is blockchain verified which means that this data is put on the blockchain and can never be changed and this is immutable and uh, if if i go on to this part and say i uh, do from delhi to bangalore you'll find that this is possible that one can change that and this goes to show that this is not going this part of the profile is not on the blockchain currently but is on spring roll servers and here you'll find details about my position which again is editable but the skill set aspect of things has been put on the blockchain. So this is the how the platform looks. It is very simple and uh, it is getting built day by day. I've seen it grow from um, almost nothing when it was it had only the skill set feature to this uh, platform with wallet and all so on and so forth. So hopefully they'll continue building stuff and uh, continue to build out the decentralized LinkedIn that they promise. So now let's go down to this next point and look at their white paper and website. So this is the spring roll website, blockchain powered professional profile, verification and attestation protocol. The website has details about the beta and the ways to invest in the presale and uh, details about their token, their roadmap, links for the groups and so on and so forth. Um, you can check out their team as well on the website. So this is the team of spring roll and you can look at the advisors and so on and so forth. Now let's look at the white paper. 
In the white paper, I found this section to be really helpful to explain how the whole ecosystem works out. And uh, what this explains is the perspective of, of a user of the Spring Roll platform. So say this is the user and this is the university and uh, the company that user has been at. And uh, this is say a person who is a friend of the user or is a colleague. So what happens is like the university attests that the user studied at the university, the company attests that the user was an employer there and this person or say a colleague in attests or endorses the user for a particular skill set that he thinks that he is good at and he personally has experience in that skill set. And all these attestations or endorsements are done in the spring token. Now what happens is like say there's a company, um, there's a recruitment service company or a freelancing project company and they interact with the, with the user via the Spring Roll platform. They would pay the Spring Roll platform um, in, in the Spring token and majority of that would actually go to the user but some of them would actually go down to these players that help the user to build his or her profile. So say if the total uh, tokens received um, to the Spring Gold platform by the recruiting service is 100 Spring tokens. Then say um, 85 will go to the user, 5 will go to the university, 5 will, 5 will go to the company and 5 to the person who endorsed the user. And Spring Roll white paper has a way, has listed down the way of how they would actually calculate the skill so score of a user and uh, endorsement, how would a particular, uh, what's the cost of an endorsement and uh, what is the reward of an endorsement and so on and so forth. So this is like uh, the first part I w that I wanted to talk about and I think it explains the whole uh, platform in a very good way. Now let's look at the, the tokenomics as well, the um, how the whole uh, spring token sale would work out. So we have uh, 25% of the tokens for reserved for token sale, 10% for contributors and advisors, 30% for market development, 25% for team and founders, and 9.5 for foundation. So that is how that works out. And uh, there are total 10 billion tokens in supply and 2.55 billion um, tokens are being sold right now. And uh, this is how it works out and they, they have details about how the market development tokens would be released and other details as well. Now let's look at the roadmap. So in Q1 to Q2 2018, they'll have public profile attestation framework and endorsement system. I think uh, they have made the public profile, but attestation framework and endorsement system are still to be completed. Then in Q2 to Q3 2018, uh, they'd ha they'll have directory listing, search, work attestation, job search and scoring. Q3 to Q4, they'll have freelancer network and graph search. And Q4 2018 to Q1 2019, they'll have API system and announcement of further roadmap. So this is how the whole white paper actually looks like. And these are some important bits that I found. You can definitely check that out and see the whole white paper. And if you want to really get down into the project. Okay, so now let's talk about the challenges that the Spring Roll platform faces. So the biggest challenge I think that Spring Roll or any other social networking platform, uh, whether decentralized or centralized, always faces is getting the community on board, getting users on board and creating those network effects out there. So that is the biggest challenge. Um, but the thing is that uh, we are in a decentralized movement. And if someone is able to um, build a good product out and market it well, I think there is a chance of a certain amount of success that is guaranteed. So that is the biggest challenge. Besides that, there are some technical challenges. One challenge is obviously um, it is very difficult for a, a non-technical person to come on board and use these decentralized applications. You need to have some ether. You need to have, you need to understand public private key concept and there is still a lot of uh, a barrier and uh, friction to getting normal people who haven't even heard a lot about crypto to get into using decentralized applications. 
so that is also a challenge but again this is a general challenge that almost any dap faces and finally i i think there is another challenge that springer needs to solve is the gas fees challenge which is that uh, say if you are putting things out in a centralized service you don't actually um, pay anything um, the server costs are are taken care of by the company whereas in a blockchain or a decentralized application data is say stored on ipfs or um, is stored in the blockchain itself then uh, um, there is some gas fees that someone needs to pay um and uh, i think there needs to be a lot of work done in exploring uh, situations in which we can reduce the gas fees say for uh, we need to pay say um one time for doing a uh, 1000 transactions or something like that um and uh, there are some approaches like there are you can work on a side chain or you can um do st- some state channel approach or something like that so springrule does need to explore that and almost any dap um who is who is going to use a lot of transactions and i think uh, do need to explore state channels or um, all these expo- approaches yeah so this is wh- what are the challenges that i feel that spring rule would face and i think as a whole spring rule is an interesting concept and uh, they are trying to solve a real problem that uh, the recruitment industry faces which is that we have lot of fake in- information on resumes um and uh, according to a survey they say that almost 53% of survey of resumes have fake information and they are trying to solve that problem of uh, uh, having fake information in this digital world and you can't actually trust what is written on a website or, or like a linkedin or even a resume but you would be able to trust something that is written on the blockchain and that is endorsed and attested by uh, trusted parties so yeah i think uh, springlo is an interesting project please do check out their website and read their white paper and try out their paid as well okay bye bye